Story of the End of the World. The future in Norse religion is quite dark. The forces of darkness and chaos will overcome the gods who represent order. Loki and his children will break free from their chains. The dead from Niflheim return to the living world to attack the living. Heimdall, the god who stands guard at the gates of Asgard, asterisk, will summon the forces of heaven with a blast of his horn. Then broke out the war between chaos and order, still known as Ragnarok. Ragnarok is not only an apocalypse but also the beginning of a new, more beautiful and more complete. Closing parenthesis dot. The fate of the gods is defeat in this battle. They know that well, so they will gather the best warriors, the Ain Harriar. They are brave warriors who died in battle, because of their heroic sacrifice. They are summoned souls to serve as soldiers and to fight alongside them. To the gods they serve. But in the end they had to watch helplessly as the world sank back into darkness. The gods and the order they created will be destroyed. Odin himself will be devoured by Fenrir. Asterisk, Asgard is where the Aesir gods live. Asgard is placed on the branches of the world tree Yggdrasil, separate from the mortal world of Midgard. The only way to Asgard is the Bifrost Rainbow. However, a few gods and humans will survive to build a new world. Scholars are still debating whether this is a sign of Christian influences or not. Otherwise, Valyaspe's apocalyptic views may reflect an ancient Indo-European worldview. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.